The claw is our master. Claw chooses who will go and who will stay. The claw. Hey guys, me host Super Soul. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. Ah. <laughs> it's an alien from Toy Story. <laughs> This is one of the Toy Story aliens from Pizza Planet, and I couldn't resist picking this up. It's one of the talking toys from the Disney Store, and uh, it's it's just one of them silly little toys that I like to get every now and again just to review, because I've not seen this before in Disney Store. This is brand new in my store, and it just looks a lot of fun. The Mystic Portal awaits. <laughs> it's got all the phrases from the films on it, and apparently if you connect it with more aliens, they talk! I need more aliens! Please say in the please say in the sale in the January sales. Please tell me this goes down in price. If this goes down in price, I would get a few more just to see how they react. <laughs> but I couldn't resist grabbing this. So let's take a close look, guys. So on the side, it does say uh, Space Crane on the side, which is the name of the. Uh, attraction that Sid plays to win this and on the back as you can see it says interacts with other aliens it does have it does take three AAA batteries there is a little leaflet there about safety of batteries and all that kind of the stuff claw. the claw yeah <laughs> and um, other than that there's not a lot of other information on here uh, to go off it just says uh, talking alien toy seven phrases from the Toy Story franchise so let's go ahead and break the alien out of the packaging I do love the claw in the background there, that's very cool. Some people probably would want to keep this in the box, um, but I actually I want him out. I want to play with him. So let's go ahead and snip him out. One, two, ooh. Try from this side in a minute. Two. Oh, there we go. We get to it from there. Now I've moved his arm. Claw is our master. Claw chooses who will go and who will stay. Goodbye, my friends. I've been chosen to go on to a better place. <clears throat> He's got another one somewhere. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so on the back there, you can see that's where you put the batteries. If you uh, want to change the batteries on it. Um, it has got another little sensor there. Is this, is this on? Why does it have another sensor there then? When I turn it on as well, the little aerial flashes. And there's if you look at the front, there's like some little other lights the here. Mystic portal awaits. Is that detecting other aliens then? Or it's trying to. Because if I put the battery pack in the middle. The mystic portal awaits. It's still turned on. I'm gonna get the uh, I'm gonna get the little instructions out. Ugh. This one's baffled even me what it's doing. Okay, Toy Story, talking toy. You actually mean nothing. Ugh. Okay, so, oh, right, okay. So this came out as a part of that franchise where, you know where you got the talking Buzz and Woody? This interacts as well with Buzz and Woody. So it doesn't just interact on his own with the other aliens, it can actually interact with the, with the talking Buzz and Woody and Bo. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so if you pop him in to the full on mode, which I had him in originally, which is the button at the bottom, if I switch that all the way to the bottom, then he's in detect mode. So he'll detect on other characters in here and it'll activate new phrases depending on if Woody, Buzz or Bo Peep are near him. And also if I put him in the middle option, which is just the on, that will just basically detect other aliens and offer the light bulb flash and also the, portal the phrases with the flashing antenna. The claw. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Do you know what? I've seen that talking buzz go for really cheap online recently. I'm very tempted now. If I can get a talking buzz to go with him, that'd be sick. I don't I don't have a buzz light yet. I have a little buzz light here, but I don't actually have a talking buzz light here. I have been chosen. The mystic portal awaits. <laughs> I have been chosen. I must go. <laughs> 
So I really like the little aliens from Toy Story. Um, this this just takes me back to my childhood. And plus, I love going to Disney every year. As you guys know, I'm a massive Disney fan. So to have this alien is so cute. I can't wait to do some action figure photography with him in the real world. I'm gonna have a lot of fun playing around with this. I've been chosen. <laughs> But to give you guys the full rundown of all the phrases, uh, so in this mode, like I've left him on, if I just keep pressing his button... The mystic portal awaits. The claw. I have been chosen. The mystic portal awaits. The claw. I have been chosen. The mystic portal awaits. So if I put him in full-on mode, then he's got other phrases, I believe? The mystic portal awaits. Maybe not. So there you go, there's all the different phrases. But yeah, it's a lot of fun, this little figure. I quite like him. Um, still can't work out what that light bulb is. I'm guessing that little bulb at the front will activate and do something, maybe when Buzz is near him or something. So they, they do interact and do different things depending on which character is interacting with them. So that would be very cool to see. And would you guys like to see a review of maybe get the talking Buzz or something and do a full talking Buzz review with this? Let me know in the comments below. Me and Super Soul Junior, though, are going to have a lot of fun with this. You know how much I love things like this, like my talking Yoda. Uh, my, my, I've got my the child there in the background. I did Mando recently. I've got Boba Fett and stuff. You guys know I love these talking toys from Disney Star. I have to collect them every now and again. They're just a lot of fun. And they look great on the shelf. And as well, if you were going to get a regular little alien, you'd want this one, right? This is about the same size as the one from the film as well. It's about screen accurate, you know, size representation, I think. <laughs> and who doesn't want a little green army man, a little grandma, a little green uh, alien in the house? I want my next job. The claw. Who <laughs> oh, no. Mando? That's the wrong child. That's the wrong child, Mando. Get down. Back down, Mando. So here is our little alien friend out of the packaging. So this is the big ass press me button. His little antenna lights up when you press it and he makes different noises. These are the bulbs I'm talking about guys. I'm not sure if you can see them on the main cam. He's got like a little sensor and then like a bulb there. Very intrigued. And apparently in the mode that he's in he should be detecting other talking figures, things like that, that are from this series. So I don't actually have any which is a shame, but I would love... Oh, we do have one. We have a talking Bo Peep. Intriguing. So sadly, upon further inspection, it does seem that our Bo Peep is well hidden in the garage and I'm not going to be able to get to her, so I'm really sorry about that. But from reading on the packaging a little bit further, I'm not sure if he even is interactive with the other Toy Story 4 characters. I think he is just literally interactive with the other aliens. I've seen that on the videos, basically, if you push that button... <laughs> His antenna lights up, he says the phrase, and then the other alien's antenna lights up and says the phrase. So they basically just repeat the same phrases back and forth to each other. Um, except when they do the ooh, they do it all together. They all go ooh together. So if you've got loads of these aliens, they'll all go ooh together, just like in the film, which is kind of cute. But on looking at it individually, no, I wouldn't actually, after seeing the, the way they interact, I probably wouldn't bother grabbing another one for interaction just because... It's not really worth it for the money, I don't think. The, basically, it doesn't doesn't unlock anything new. Like, I thought originally it was going to unlock new phrases, but it doesn't. It's just repeating these phrases Hooray! that are already on the alien that I've already got. So there's no point, basically, um, sadly. But, yeah, it was worth a, a quick look. But, yeah, I don't think he is, he is actually interactive at all with the other... Um, Toy Story 4 characters, I believe it is just the aliens, but I don't know for definite as I can't try it, but um, I'd like to at some point. Uh, I might dig her out at some point and put it on Instagram if anything happens. But basically these little aliens, I've got little chubby bodies, arms and legs, and they are from the Pizza Planet franchise, or they are, they are in a game anyway that's a part of Pizza Planet. They have the Pizza Planet logo on them, which is kind of cool. Um, and they're in the game that Andy plays. There's also other games inspired by Alien and all sorts of other things and Asteroids and things that they're playing in there, which is kind of cool. Um, definite homage to when I was a kid and going to the arcade and stuff like that. Big, loud, noisy environment. And I wish we had, like, a, a thing like that in the UK. The closest we had was, like, 
in a bowling alley. <laughs> They'd have a few arcade machines that were loud. But um, it was very rare that I went to an, a- an actual proper arcade unless I went to like the seaside or something as a kid. Uh, to the beach. Uh, for the Americans out there. But anyway, yeah, this alien obviously was from the claw vending machine at Pizza Planet that Buzz and Woody climbed into. They believe the crane is some kind of deity who sometimes selects one of them to go onto a better place. And the one alien, the, the aliens were picked up by Sid, um, who, which then Buzz and Woody um, ended up going home with him and stuff. Yeah, it's you've seen the film. It's a it's a great a great movie. Obviously, in Toy Story two, we were introduced to three of them that were hanging from the Pizza Planet. Um, car and the old Ood at the same time and they thought Mrs. Uh, Potato Head and Miss Potato were their mum and dad and yeah all that good stuff so Aliens have been definitely a part of that franchise and they are really cool I, they, I keep seeing that they might have an RC truck of the Pizza Planet truck very tempted to grab that if they do have that if you'd like to see that review please let me know but guys if you'd like to see more Toy Story reviews on this channel please let me know I do love the franchise it is one of my favourite franchises and I do like making Toy Story videos so guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But let's go back to the main cam and finish up this video. <laughs> so guys, let me know your thoughts on this figure in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's review, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us. It really helps us out and helps us to keep making awesome videos. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And until next time... Come on, say the one I want you to say. The Mystic Portal awaits. The Mystic Portal awaits. There we go. We're off. Bye. <laughs> Ooh.